This is the Schaefer Legacy 2 Dom Crystal Set. I have the copper brown pin because it's so pretty. And on it is a medium. Comes with a medium nib. Can't see the M on there, but there's a little M right there. Yep, there it is. And this pretty thing is the crystal, like an inkwell, I guess you'd call it, with this cool little feather thing. This is made by Dom of France. And down here, you can see a signature. Let me see. Yeah. Hilton Meconico? Not sure, I think so. And then over here it says Schaefer. But this Hilton person, this is supposed to be the person who made this particular set, which is pretty cool. And then a Dom France sticker. Ah, the motorcycles. One of the joys of living in downtown Hot Springs. Let's see. Comes with a little certificate. This masterpiece gift set is certified as authentic, one of only 1,000 sets issued worldwide. And then it says the same thing in French. So, the Dom Crystal Inkwell and Feather. Uh, now, the Feather, anyways, um, is. <laughs> My wife thinks the feather is very pretty. And the feather is very pretty. And something about the feather that is so awesome is how it's made. It's made with the technique, uh, a glass forming technique called Pat de Verre. Uh, that, I think it's Pat de Verre. It might be Pate de Verre. But it's French. Um, it dates back to the ancient Egyptians, but really came into its own about a century ago when it was revived by a group of French artists who gave this warm glass technique its current name. Uh, and this is from warmglass.com. Pat de Verre involves making a paste of glass that is in, applied to the surface of a mold, then fired. The big advantage to Pat de Verre is that it allows for precise placement of particular glass colors in the mold. Other ways of filling the mold often result in some shifting of glass from where it has been placed prior to firing, but the Pat de Verre process helps to control this shifting. And this little uh, pamphlet here talks about that a little as well. Um, so since 1878, Cristallery Dom has been synonymous with creativity in the art of glass making. Uncontested masters of Art Nouveau, the artists and craftsmen of Dom have also had a long lasting influence on the art deco and contemporary art movements. Dom creations are exhibited in museums all over the world and fetch record prices in international auctions. The art of Pat Verre was known to the Egyptians as early as 1500 BC. It blossomed again in France at the beginning of the 20th century. This rare material is made from splinters of crystal that are colored, molten, poured into a lost wax mold, and fired at an extremely high temperature for a week. This mold is then broken to reveal a unique piece in Pat de Verre. This Dom works with, thus, Dom works with artists and designers to create objects imbued with the magic of this noble material. Um, thank you, Elizabeth. You're welcome, man. Uh, I forgot I have a porch light. This pretty little, ah, oh, and that really shines up the brown copper. Schaefer Legacy 2. I have been wanting one of these pens for as long as I've been into fountain pens really since my wife got me my first uh, fountain pen as a gift on Valentine's Day. It was a little Schaefer uh, viewpoint, a little italic thing from uh, from the art shop up the road, um, and uh, it was wonderful. I absolutely loved it, and it it's all it's all her fault. 
She's the one who got me started in fountain pens. Uh, she got me a, a, the Schaefer and, and a sketchbook. And I've always had sketchbooks, but never with a fountain pen. It was wonderful. Anyways, so that's been, what, five years now? Yep. Almost five years. And um, I've always wanted one of these, but I've never found one that I wanted to, to buy. But this one... I found at Van Ness. They've got a few of these sets uh, for three hundred dollars, and uh, I, I jumped on it. Oh crap! Anyways, um, this set came in three different finishes. This is the copper brown, uh, and Van Ness has all three finishes. Um, Van Ness pen and Little Rock, that is. And uh, this is the one I wanted. Medium nib on copper brown. They also they let me borrow these. To show off this is the chrome and it's very lovely it's got another a medium nib as well and then the black I almost wanted the black, but I like the copper brown one better. This one has a big fat stub nib on it. Let me see. Yeah, that shows up nicely there. So, alright. What is going to be the first fill? Let me see. There we go. I thought about this for a couple days. Usually it's not something to think about with me. I just go grab some ink and stick it in a pen. Uh, but I wanted a bright green. I'd been playing with different inks the last couple of months and P.W. Ackerman and Diamond, and then I got a bottle of Irishizuki Suki U, it's the blue or Suki O. Um, and the way it performed was better than anything I had ever used before. So I was looking at the swab chart at Van Ness and trying to figure out what other um, ink from Pilot I wanted, and this is it. Uh, now this pen fills a couple of different ways. You can put, uh, what do you call it, a cartridge in there, or you can put a different kind of converter, a piston converter, or one of the squeeze bar converters. But this comes with the touchdown converter. Um, and uh, it fills just like the old Schaefer touchdowns, because that's basically what it is. You unscrew this knobby on the back. Ooh, it makes an air bubble noise. I've run some water through it already. Let's see. Look at that, that's so cool. There we go. So this bright green from Hiro Shizuku is called Chikurin, which means Chiku Rin. I don't know what it means. It's bright and leafy green, but it's not so bright that it's irritating. Uh, it's actually got sort of a, a little neutral tone to it that I, that I quite like. And here we have 
Some Tomo River paper. I love this book. Let me see, what's the best angle? Got my little lawn sheet underneath. That is so nice. Man, that is that is beautiful. 18 karat inlaid Schaefer nib. And uh, you hear that they're smooth, but oh my god, this is nice. That has got to be one of the nicest pins, modern pins. Guys, that's wonderful. Um, and it, I think it's got a brass body, uh, but it is not too heavy. It is, that is just, God, that's delightful. Thanks for watching.